Sergio Belmonte loves to play with his young sons, Michael, who's six, and four-year-old Jordan. And sometimes they'll tell me, oh, let's play tag. You want to play tag no more? Sure, let's go play. This game of tag is on the playground of the San Diego Rescue Mission, which has also been home for the single father and his children since just before Christmas. I've seen a drastic improvement on my boys. They're, more, they're a lot more happier. They found friends over here that they could play with, and especially at school. Their school is nearby Washington Elementary, where Sergio learned about Project REST, a program provided through the San Diego County Office of Education, funded with federal pandemic money that will end in September. In the past two years, it has provided rest and relief to 1,400 families, offering temporary stays at a Motel 6 under a contract with the county. It was just enough to buy Sergio and his son's time to get into the San Diego rescue mission. What we really do is we focus on relationship and having a support network. Paul Armstrong is vice president of programs at the mission. Uh, we know that homelessness is complex, and so what we really want to do is be able to come alongside people uh, learn what happened, uh, find out what those issues of the heart are so that we can help address them. The San Diego Rescue Mission partners with the San Diego Unified School District in bridging the gap between homelessness and permanent housing to keep students in class and away from chronic absences. Right now, there are 8,000 children in the district identified as experiencing housing insecurity. Christy Drake is a resource teacher for the Office of Children and Youth in Transition, fighting for funding. The biggest thing that we need is advocacy for, for this funding to continue, um, for people to understand that homeless education is very different from the politics of homelessness. The County Office of Education is working with all 42 local school districts and every Motel 6, from near the Mexican border up to Oceanside. The Chula Vista location has provided housing for many families with children in the Chula Vista Elementary School District, which has a caseload of 600 students who are unhoused. It's a really confusing process, a lot of public assistance programs, and so we want to make a helpful hand at the school district. Julia Sutton is a member of the district's team of social workers meeting families where they are. They want their children to, you know, be successful academically. That is very important to them, but we know that basic needs make that really hard sometimes, and so we just want to partner with families and make sure that, um, you know, they're the experts for what they need, and we just want to support them in getting to what they need. Ice cream cone. I see that. Don't eat it, though. As Jordan Belmonte and his older brother Michael play in the sandbox at the San Diego Rescue Mission, they are happy and hopeful about their future. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a firefighter or a police officer. Why? Because I want to do good deeds and, and help people. Their dad, Sergio, is hopeful, too. Don't let nobody discourage you. Go ahead. If you, if you want to do something in your life, go ahead. Don't let it, nothing stop, stop you. And the only, the only person that could stop you is yourself. A dad and his sons, the perfect tag team for success. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.